let me introduce first i am from kesar college of engineering i am going to present a paper on robotic telesurgery here i introduce that robotic telesurgery first and the latest generations we use the robotic instruments for different kinds of applications like uh, medical field and um, in the industrial areas robotic telesurgery in which it's mainly based on the application of robotics in medicine so how to uh, minimize the work of the surgeon in the hospitals so there are diff there are major operations are doing as does the autonomous robotic system which has involved in the medical field and it has developed many promises applications as such here the three surgical robots are there that is Dovin C surgical systems and Jess robotic surgical systems and Azo robotic systems and the latest is the Dovin C surgical systems uh, long hospital stay will be reduced and huge blood clotting and wastage of blood will be reduced by using these techniques and the uh, uh, pain also will be reduced by using a small hole that is called as the minimally invasive surgery where uh, they are uh, taking the instruments and inserting in the body and by using the small incision they can use the treatment or operation by use of this technique so here we see the down C system as the there are two primary components that is yeah viewing and control console and the surgical arm unit so here in the down C system by ex for my example I have took that bladder surgery in that it's the robotic instruments is like it's out placed outside and where these two rods are placed inside the body and it's doing the operation this is the two cameras it for you know, viewing for the operation to the surgeon so here there are two rods and there are three rods placed inside our body that is stainless steel rod that is placed inside the patient's body so where that is the pencil diameter size these rods has three robotic arms that is here I said that two is for instruments and one is for fixing the camera okay. and then next here this is an example here where this single rod this is fixed with the two cameras and these are fixed with the instruments and where these pencil type holes we can insert the medicine to the hum uh, inside the body to do the specific operations so uh, here let, uh, let us take the example like if the patient is in US so if the doctor is in London or some other places they can do their operation from their location for the patient in the US so it's very easy and it's transmitting data will be also very huge and very fast so they can do the operation from their location so the cost will be also reduced so no need the no need the necessity of the doctor to come to the required place where the patients admitted and do the operations so this is very simple technique that uh, by use of this technique and um, they, uh, by in the surgeons there is a joystick so by use this joystick they can control their operations inside that body so the doctor necessity will be also reduced by using this technique mm, and then see the, this is a surgeon sitting in the operating room so this is the patient so by by acting by using controlling the joystick they can do the operation here so the um, there is only one surgeon and two operators so no need of many people's like surgeons and doctors and nurses and, uh, and so on so this will be reduced this is here they can see the you can see here as that image processing equipment where they can see the um, operations what they are doing inside this human body can be viewed by this and they can control by using this joystick and perform the operations and here the fixing of the 
instruments in their body so here this is the equipment where this whole place here is to inject the different kinds of medicines for their required operations so here this is the tube where uh, the camera this is the cable where here there's the cable where the camera sensors inside the body and they can do their operations inside their body and this is the two instruments where they can move by using this joystick is connected here and the advantage of this robotic system is in real time there is like here this is an example like california that are um, to operate the patient in the new york the doctors in california they can use by using this technique they can um, if if they are get tensed the handshaking will be that if it isn't robot this will be very